All right, everyone. So Dak Prescott just took a little bit of a shot at Jerry Jones. So this is what he said during a recent uh, press conference. He said, this is from Joe Machada. I stopped honestly listening to things. And then in parentheses, Jerry Jones, that's what he's talking about, says in the media a long time ago. It doesn't really hold weight with me. This comes after he you know, gave his thoughts on the upcoming contract, Jerry Jones. He said this, you could easily say, if you haven't seen it by now, you haven't seen it. I'm such a fan of Dak, and I appreciate all the great things that we all know are there, and I appreciate his work ethic probably more than anything. I can tell you how proud I am that we've got him this year to start this campaign. Dak's situation right now, for me, has more to do with our situation than it does with the merits of Dak Prescott being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. I quit a long time ago getting bent on a shape about having anybody under contract or not. There are all kinds of things other than the contract that could change the level of him being under contract. Injury level of play, so you can't just pick that and say that should give you a better feeling about our team or me a better feeling. The whole thing has a lot of moving parts. Now I can live with that because we play a game that it can change on the next play. There were more things he said basically about how he doesn't need it to be done this year. So Dak's clearly not happy with that, right? Dak wants a long-term deal. CD just got his deal. Now Dak is clearly probably not going to get his deal unless this kind of bullies Jerry Jones into it. But I, I just think people have to understand that this is part of the problem with the Cowboys right now. These public statements are what's aggravating, I think, to some of the players because this is brutal honesty from Jerry Jones. I mean, this is kind of the deal. Is like there isn't necessarily another owner in the league that's this honest about how he actually feels in that. Sometimes, you know, honesty like this, players don't want to hear that. You know, this there's a lot of times when somebody's negotiating with someone where they think exactly what Jerry Jones is saying, but they don't say it. And hearing the guy that you're negotiating with say it publicly and basically basically say, you know, it doesn't matter if we have you this year, or next year, whatever. We hope we have you, but we don't know. Like, this is a problem for them, right? And this is a problem for Dak. This is a problem for Jerry Jones. And I don't necessarily know how this is fixed without winning, right? I think winning is becoming the only way that this situation works. Meaning if the Cowboys win a Super Bowl, Jerry will certainly be thrilled and Dak will be thrilled. And I think he'll basically open up the bank and pay him whatever he wants if they win a Super Bowl. If they don't win a Super Bowl, I don't know. They have a, a playoff, you know, similar to last year. Jerry may say bye-bye. And you can't blame the, you know, it's amazing to me. You see a lot of Cowboys fans and others blaming Jerry Jones for this. You know, you could talk about him not going all in. You could talk about him not paying him earlier. But at this point where they are, come on. I, I just don't see how with the, the body of work that Dak Prescott has shown, regular season, he's deserving of the money. But where the money's made is not in the regular season. It's in the playoffs. And it would be one thing if it was, you know, like, okay, we got a bunch of time here. We'll still be able to put talent around you. Signing Dak to a record deal, CD and Micah to a record deal is going to hurt their ability to put talent on this roster. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, if you win, that's different. Then you can move forward and you just say, look, he earned it. We're giving it to him. We think we could build off this. But certainly, I don't blame Dak for being upset. He has every reason to be upset. I also can't blame Jerry for being like, look, what are we supposed to do, right? So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.